Hi Aquarius, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. So right away, I'm seeing two energies. Some of you are seeing a very toxic individual here. Could have been a married person. I'm a third party situation, but there was some betrayal here. Your attitude in regards to love when you meet this person, we have nine of wands, 10 of swords very defensive because of whatever this betrayal was or it can be negative self-talk right but we do have that red cape flying away so it definitely can be a situation where there was someone you were dealing with who was a player they were in and out but there was deception here and as a result you're on guard right we have that band-aid around her head there that person still stalks you um, if that situation resonates with you i'm getting they keep an eye on you as well the energies are sort of um all over the place if i were to be honest what i am seeing here moving forward is that you ha do have a lot of options um, there is potential here uh, for a new relationship we have the wheel of fortune page of pentacles it is a page we have pisces quincunx uranus I don't know, I don't, I'm not too fond of that Pisces energy with Seven of Cups, right? Seven of Cups can sometimes be options, confusion, and Pisces is also Neptune energy. So it's almost a very unsettling, confusing energy, and it's very unstable. It hasn't quite matured yet. So this may take a while. There may be some people that are in and out. You're sort of going to have to filter through um, these options you have. Some of you may be trying out online dating with lovers, Gemini and Seven of Cups, which is why I'm picking up on a lot of options. But there will be one that will stand out to you. We have the Page of Pentacles that you see potential in. This person may be younger than you. And it's sort of out of the blue meeting. It's very unexpected. And it does seem to be a faded meeting with the Wheel of Fortune, Uranus, the lovers. There's strong chemistry here between the both of you. They're not giving me anything about their personality. They may be younger, they're working their way up, they seem to be focused on their finances or they may be in school. Because Wheel of Fortune is also Jupiter ruling our ninth house of higher learning and Page of Pentacles is our student, right? So definitely, they can be someone who's just starting out. Can you please give me more about this Page energy? Who is this Page of Pentacles? Their personality? Can be a Scorpio. Makes sense because I did ask is there potential for a long term we have death, which is Scorpio energy. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at that. Second house, Scorpio, uh, tenth house, Pluto. Yeah, this is someone who's obsessed, fixated on making more money, power, advancing up the ladder. See, this is a general reading. Some of you, this person will be right on the t top of their game around the time they meet you they'll be emperor status and others of you you may meet them while they're still working their way up right it really depends but this person is definitely very ambitious and a lot of their passion desire they're very fixated on creating a name for themselves and their finances Fixed energy here. We have Scorpio here and Taurus, which is a fixed energy stubbornness coming through, right? This can be someone who's prone to jealousy. They're very loyal once they do uh, commit to a situation. But very stable, or they have a lot of potential that they will be, right? Moving forward. Ascendant. Yeah, they're hard to read as well, I'm getting. This may be someone who has some artistic talents or they may be doing something more creative with Uranus. But there's distance here between the both of you and it seems to be a bit of an on again, off again um, when it starts out for whatever reason, right? It can be someone's moving for school or work and you have to do that. A long distance situation or short distance, whatever for a little bit here so there may be a lot of communication back and forth online or text messages with gemini but i'm seeing a strong intellectual bond 
You really, really, you both will really like each other's sense of humor. You'll find them to be very mysterious. They're unpredictable, so things will never be boring. In what ways are they unpredictable, though? See, that can be an issue, right? Venus, okay. Venus, Uranus, okay. It's sort of an unconventional love. I'm getting a bit of an opposites attract. Something that's drastically different. Can be just, you know, that long distance, but a different culture, race with temperance. But this can work. Definitely. There's a lot of potential here. How you'll meet them, we have 12th house, high priestess, six of wands. 12th house has surrender written on it. And the high priestess is also our 12th house Pisces energy. Definitely if you do something online creative, right? Where you get a lot of recognition and attention. Um, you can meet through your job. Um, social media is coming through again, six of wands. But six of wands is usually a group setting. Whereas 12th house is a more withdrawn energy. I'll give you examples. Mm, say you work in a pharmacy. Right, 12th house can sometimes rule our counselors, our doctors, our pharmacists, you know, people that are working behind the scenes. So it can be that you're working in a group setting, a public area, but you're sort of behind the scenes with the 12th house. Um, you could be working in admin or something, right? And that is how you meet. Uh, it can be at a gym where you're sort of reserved, minding your own business, but there is other people around you. But a lot of you, it seems to be something to do with your reputation, career, and they were very f focused on their work. When you'll meet, we have semi-sextile, allowing, judgment, eight of pentacles. They're saying allow things to come to you, attract, don't chase. So it's almost a situation that will land in your lap, right? This opportunity, wheel of fortune, Uranus, it'll come out of nowhere, it's unexpected. And when some of you, you're starting a new job, judgment, it's a new chapter, eight of pentacles. Some of you will be co-workers, but it's sort of telling you to go with the flow here, Aquarius, and you'll run into this person. Eight of pentacles is a very practical, grounded energy paired with the six of wands, which makes me think this may be, you know, running errands, just doing your day to day. Let's get one more. I want one more for how you'll meet. Why is the 12th house here for how Aquarius will meet their next serious relationship partner? Clarify the 12th house here. 11th house. It's the weird energy, North Node Ascendant. Some group setting again. 11th house. Can be online, a dating app. But a lot of you, group setting. Workplace through work somehow, running errands. Because we have the music here on Judgment paired next to the work card, it can be a work party as well. You're going out for drinks, 11th house. Let's pull out my homemade deck because I am a little bit confused here. It's giving me a lot of scenarios. How will Aquarius meet their next serious relationship partner? Anything they'll give us. You will be celebrating. Okay. So some party, celebration, group setting. Or you're celebrating because we had when, judgment, eight of pentacles, you're celebrating a promotion, a new job around the time you meet. When, how, sorry, how will Aquarius meet their next serious relationship partner? same card you will be celebrating when you meet this person that clearly wanted to come through um, sooner than you think wow okay when will occur how will it create you already know through spiritual guidance that card for me um you already know through spiritual guidance is that for one you could be watching a lot of tarot readings you already have the knowledge here with high priestess because we have the tarot cards how you'll meet when you'll meet Right, you're getting uh, synchronicities, messages. And others of you, you already know through spiritual guidance, can be that you're being guided towards this person, right? You're being called to move in a specific direction. Ooh, some of you may even be moving for work or school. 
how will Aquarius meet? This is a faded meeting. Wow, I don't make this up. Some of you friends party. They will be timid. Okay, this person's very timid when you meet them. Not, they don't have much experience, maybe. I don't know, though. They're coming through as the King of Wands here. Again, mutual friend. Yeah, you'll have a hard time reading this person, but the reason they're acting really weird and cold is because they're intimidated. You may think that, oh, this person's not interested. Ooh. This person is a foreigner. Yeah, so that may be that unconventional Venus-Uranus energy. And if it's, you know, that Venus-Uranus synastry in a chart can also um, indicate a long-distance relationship. Let's get one more. They're not giving us scenarios. I think it'll be different for each one of you. How will Aquarius meet? <laughs> Anything else? Have patience. Well, I think this was a message for me. 333. Three. Yeah, social gathering, mu music. They will reach you through a friend. Okay, so mutual friends. Friend. 11th house is also friends. But it is a faded meeting, and they're telling you and me to have patience. Okay? Okay, um, how this person will be approaching you. We have 4th house, the devil, 3 of pentacles, 3 of wands. I'm definitely getting that uh, foreign element here. A side message I want to get out of the way. Be very careful um, if you are meeting someone online or even through workplace, right? Because there is potential. We have third party situation. And some of you, that's what you were coming out of, 10 of swords, right? So I don't see you really um, attracting another third party. You have strong boundaries here. But more so what I'm getting, because it's paired next to the fourth house. Fourth house represents stability, consistency, right? And that is how they're approaching you, a friendship. They're wanting to collaborate. Some of you, this is a secret uh, workplace romance. Devil, ten house, reputation, three of pentacles. A lot of you, why I'm not getting, you know, why I'm not getting third party which normally we do have three, 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 right? Three people on devil is because the astrological cards were indicating that they're very focused on their 10th house and second house. So their assets and their reputation. So I think this has more to do with their stability and their work, their life purpose, rather than, you know, them involving themselves in other uh, situations. But definitely, this can be a foreigner. Three of Wands is a travel card for me as well. So maybe someone who's... You may be getting a promotion, you're starting a new job. This person may also be a new person there. Or they're in some sort of position of leadership. Or they will be emperor. We have a lot of fours coming through in their energy. They are very stable. And I did have reliable representing their personality. So, yeah. How they'll approach you is with a friendship. They'll be reliable, consistent, and very dedicated once they do commit. They'll want to make plans with you if there is distance, right? Wanting to see you, asking you about your vision for the future. What are your goals, right? They, they were coming through as very ambitious, so they need someone who's on a similar uh, vibration, right? That's also very, I'm getting strong power couple vibes. So they'll really appreciate your dedication, your hard work. And whatever you do for a living, I think they'll ask a lot of questions. Give me one more for that. How will this person approach Aquarius? Yeah, very confident. Neptune, 4,000, Mercury, Jupiter. Yeah, conversation. They're very romantic, I'm getting. And once you do get to know them, very dreamy, sensitive individual. But, you know, laughter, fun times, planning, travel, adventure, Mercury, Jupiter. It's a very curious individual. So I'm getting, asking questions, wanting to know more about you. And especially if there is that opposite attract or they're a foreigner, they're very curious to know about your ways, how you were brought up, your culture, right? Extremely, um intrigued by you your first impression of them we have opposition star four of pentacles well you're viewing them as someone who's different from yourself right they stand out to you star so you're seeing them as 
someone who's a bit distant, reserved, but quite independent. They may be on their own here when you meet them. This may be a night meeting if it was through friends, group setting, party. But Star also is online, right? But yeah, a little bit reserved, holding back. And why is Star here for Aquarius first impression? King of Swords detached. You're actually viewing them similar to yourself to some extent. But yeah, hard to read, unapproachable, a little bit detached very guarded and you were as well how they'll be viewing you you're both mirroring each other aries justice eight of cups aries is interesting yeah they don't see you as the most emotional here you're coming through as a bit withdrawn and more analyzing observing this person but you also come through as quite balanced in this first meeting some of you may be moving there's movement travel Aries is an action-oriented placement. Yeah, they'll be physically very attracted to you. They'll find you very mysterious, alluring. There's that natural pull they'll feel towards you lovers. Yeah, you both will be watching and analyzing each other in this first, your first impression of each other. But they'll find you physically very desirable. Justice, balance, but also Venus re represents what we find desirable in another. Attraction, right? So they'll love the way you look here is what I'm getting. What is going on in this person's love life? We have King of Wands, Five of Cups. Um, they may be traveling because we do have them pointing at the globe. Or they may be trying online dating as well. I'm not sure. King of Wands is a very... Um, you know, go, go, go. They have a lot of dreams, aspirations. It's a bit of a go-getter energy. But they seem to be mourning something or getting out of something disappointing. Maybe they were put on a put in a third-party situation. Someone cheated on them, right? But they're sad. They're disappointed. And some of them are just tired of waiting, right? They're waiting for their perfect match. And it's almost a giving up energy. I don't think I'll ever find my Two of Cups. Guess what? You're this person's Two of Cups. We have Two of Cups in your outcome. So they don't have hope. So this may be very shocking for this person as well, Aquarius, because they're mourning these Three Cups. They don't realize. Three of Cups doesn't always have to be a relationship, by the way, right? It can be, oh, I'm being left behind. My friends are all married. I'm running out of time. I need to act, the clock is ticking, I'm getting older, you know, it can be a thought process here as well. So it's almost a sense of urgency with that King of Wands, I want it, I want it now. So they need to be more patient here. And I think they have been for a while and it's a bit difficult for them. Okay, Aquarius, the potential outcome. We have Square, Sixth House, Virgo, Seven of Wands, Temperance, Two of Cups, Two of Wands. Okay, a lot of you, the square, um, that does represent challenges, will be the distance. And others of you, the personalities. The way you handle just your day-to-day -day affairs, right? Some of you, um, you will have to make adjustments. You'll have to compromise. And really, um, just the day-to-day, -day, there may be some clashes here. Because you both see things very differently. But it can work, because I'm seeing a lot of sixes here. We have Virgo, sixth house here twice. We have two, two. Twos represent harmony, partnership, balance, right? So as time goes on with temperance, with time, patience, you both can really bring both of your worlds together. And there's a strong soulmate bond here. I'm getting two very independent, hardworking individuals coming together, right? They're coming through as very fair, logical, balanced, and you are as well with justice. Right? It's weighing the pros and cons, looking for equality, and I think you're getting that here. Another challenge I'm seeing is you both are guarded. Nine of Wands, especially you, right? Because of what you've been through in your past. So yeah, I think this won't be overnight. It'll be slow and steady here because you'll really need time to trust each other. And one of you can be very uh, territorial or jealous over the other. But I don't think I don't think it's anything too extreme here. Because I do see the temperance sort of triumphing over all these minor arcana here, which talks about peace, harmony, balance. It's beautiful, really. 
I think you will compromise. It will take time. Is there potential for long term? The emperor death. Emperor is an, is number four, which rules home stability. I definitely see that there is a lot of potential for this to be long term, but both of you will have to compromise and make drastic changes here with death, right? It's ending one cycle and beginning a new one. So yeah, there is some releasing you both need to do, right? Look at your both of your energies, five of cups, nine of wands. So this may take a while because they were saying half patient because it seems that you both are working on um, your respective issues here. Their personality, we have reliability. I like to see this because I was scared actually when I laid out these cards until I figured out, oh, this is your past energy creeping in as well. We have I am reliable. When I say I'll do something, I take whatever that something is seriously. This applies to all commitments, even the ones that may have seemed small and insignificant to a less reliable me. From now on, flaking is just for dandruff commercials and cereal factories. Yeah, they could have been. In their past, they were a bit um, all over the place. I was getting a scattered energy, definitely. And they're becoming more responsible, more reliable right taking all their commitments seriously so once they commit to you they'll be reliable if they say they'll do something they will you can count on them they're trustworthy and we also had maturity bottom deck energy also have the resistance secret admirer suppressing timid and i think we had timid in yeah my homemade deck as well so the secret admirer is this person's energy and they'll be secretly um, looking at you glancing at your pictures perhaps your social media with the star. They'll need some time before they can muster up that courage, right? To express themselves to be more vulnerable. So there is a little bit of resistance for our pentacles. And distance. We saw this throughout your reading. Separation space blockage. Yeah, Venus Uranus. If you don't know about that aspect, you can definitely list, um, look it up. Initially, it'll be a bit rocky, on again, off again, right? Uranus likes freedom. They're all over the place. Venus craves more consistency, right? So you'll both have to find that balance. You're coming through as the more Venus energy, right? Because they're viewing you as justice. We had Uranus in their personality. So likely it's them that sort of, you know, marching to the beat of their own drum. And you will crave consistency from them. And I think with time, there is challenges here. We have square, but with time, yeah, I definitely see a routine, some schedule, right? Compromises, making plans for the future, two of wands. Planning, strategizing. Who is Aquarius next serious relationship partner? So this can be your initials, their initials, whatever comes through. Cologne, perfume, scent. Zed. Who is Aquarius' next serious relationship partner? They're very witty. Yeah, it's quirky sense of humor. Mercury, Jupiter is also very quick on their feet. Trustworthy. Yeah, you can trust them. They're very reliable. Trustworthy. Who is Aquarius' next serious relationship partner? J. Spiritual, okay, they're spiritual. I already like their energy for you, Aquarius. It is someone who's really uh, very much open-minded with Uranus. And uh, Jupiter 9th house also rules religion, spirituality. Ooh, some of you, if you do something spiritual with the 12th house and high priestess, you may meet through spirituality. Definitely. R. So we have J.R. Who is Aquarius next serious relationship? Q. Oh, look. I affectionate you. I love you. <laughs> Maybe, right? We did have the two of cups. Soulmate, mutual admiration, two people 
that are seeing eye to eye, right? I like something about their mouth. I'm not sure what that's about. Who is Aquarius' next serious relationship partner? Who is Aquarius' next serious relationship partner? Ooh, they may have a scar somewhere on their face. Oh, that really wanted to come through. They may have green eyes. Who is Aquarius next series? Ooh, we have elderly, so they may be, I don't know, I was getting younger energy. But we did have maturity. And we have coarse curly hair. But they can be. Maybe they are older, but they have a more youthful demeanor here, if that is the case. Because we did have the emperor here as well. Who is Aquarius next series? Medium skin tone. Wavy hair. Yeah, we have wavy and um, curly coarse hair. They may like to wear makeup, express themselves through makeup. Practitioner. Ooh. And they can be European. They may have glasses or contacts. They may like black clothing. They may be bald or have very short hair. They're very clean, organized, and they're genuine. Yeah, they're a real person. You can trust them. When they say something, they're very persuasive. That card really wants to come through. They can be strict. Yeah. Oh my God. When it comes to their career. We have idealistic and flexible. That seems more... I think they're, they're very strict when it comes to their goals. Some sort of routine, their work, right? With Virgo 6th house. But they can be flexible, idealistic. That seems to be more their more romantic side, right? So there's two sides to them. They're very curious. Wasn't I saying if there is a difference in uh, culture or religion, they'll be very curious about you. Asking a lot of questions. Let's get one more. And they're constant, yeah. And they're patient, or that is what they were learning. They're very original, heroic, and hardworking. Yeah, Uranus is... They have an original mind. You won't see this person following any crowd, you know. They march to the beat of their own drum. They're their own person. Which I think will be Aquarius, you know, appreciate that in another. Shy. That timidness is coming through. So a little bit of shyness here. Who is Aquarius next serious relation? They can be sarcastic. We have sensual. Forgiving. Considerate. I like that. It's always nice to be dealing with thoughtful people, right? So they'll be very considerate. Thoughtful. Hygienic. We had that twice. We had clean and hygienic. So they're very particular about their hygiene. <laughs> Love at first sight. I definitely see that for them. They can be a bit dramatic. Sometimes acts of service may be a love language. We also have homebody. So they may be an introvert with that shy energy. They're punctual. Yeah, that goes well with that routine, strict work. Work, work, work. Maybe even a bit of a workaholic sometimes. And they're careful, cautious. You both are. And then maybe another, wasn't I saying quirky sense of humor? They may be another fixed sign. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus are an Aquarius. We did have Taurus, we did have Scorpio coming through. I wasn't seeing much of Leo. I did see another Aquarius energy for your first impression of them. So they may have these placements strong in their chart somewhere. They can be very lucky and they're quirky. 
But yes, Aquarius, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. That is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week. Bye.